Um, well, most countries in the world are very diverse in terms of uh, ethnicity, language, religion. And um, as a matter of fact, in some situation, this, this uh, diversity is perceived not as a value but as a kind of threat. And uh, when this happens, uh, and uh, when uh, minority claims and majority population claims are conflicting, you might end up in ethnic violent conflict. Uh, Kosovo is a demonstrative case in this regard. Uh, however, the empirical evidence suggests that uh, territorial autonomy is an efficient um, or an effective uh, conflict resolution mechanism in such uh, divided societies. Uh, one of the, the basic uh, problems of the existing research on minority territorial autonomy uh, is the fact that it focuses mostly on a, on a handful of cases which are also very well known. And uh, with this project, with, uh, we, we, we want to, to uh, establish a comprehensive uh, collection of uh, cases from uh, all over the world, including lesser known cases. And uh, we, we want to make this collection available on a specially designed website, both for researchers and practitioners. And uh, the aim is to, to encourage and, uh, and enhance the comparative analysis of autonomies uh, in, in the world. Moreover, we, we want to focus not only on uh, theory, but also on practice. Uh, for, for instance, an, a territorial autonomy might, might be based on a wonderful law, uh, which looks very good on paper, but uh, in practice might not function at all very well, because of a different reason. One of them might be the lack of implementation of the law, or the um, lack of uh, sufficient financial resources. So, to sum up, this project uh, uh, could prove, uh, could prove uh, uh, helpful, both for researchers, uh, in order to, to uh, deepen the understanding of the empirical phenomenon and for the policy makers and the decision makers uh, in their attempt to establish uh, more effective autonomy arrangements.